Hi guys, did you miss me? Hey guys, it's Wenji. It's been a minute on this music channel. So I'm back and I'm doing this video because I just received a mysterious parcel. Guys, let me show you. This is what it looks like. I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna unbox that in the end with you guys together. I'm really curious. But before that, I wanna do a Q&A because you guys have been constantly asking me since Empire came out. So Empire just hit over 7 million streams on YouTube. Thank you so much for your support. I love that song with Minnie. That is literally my life. It is such a vibe. It's definitely a song I love to do my makeup to and like just feel a little bit more powerful. So I thought I would answer some of the most frequently asked questions that came out of that collab. Mainly like what it's like to work with a K-pop idol. I went on Twitter and got a bunch of questions from you guys. So I'm going to answer that shortly before I unbox this crazy mystery box. But also guys, a lot of you guys have been asking me, when is the next time you're going to be releasing new music? It's been a minute since I released a song. Last song was Talk Talk Japan version and also Empire as well. So it's been a little bit of a minute, but guys, I'm prepared for you guys. I have a gem for you. So over Christmas, I actually recorded and filmed a new music video and a new song, which I'm going to be releasing in like two weeks. So May 1st, put the date in the calendar. It's actually going to release on a special date. If you guys can figure out what day that is, let me know down below. I'm being very cryptic. So turn on your notifications, put it in your calendar, click subscribe. Don't miss it. It is such a catchy song. It's actually my second Chinese song. So it's all gonna be in Chinese and I collabed with some really cool Chinese artists This song when it got released last year in China had pretty much got listened to over a billion times We did an update remix version, which is like so much cooler guys like so much cooler and oh my god Do you know what I'm gonna say next? G Idol released their latest single and mini EP and their single oh my god is like oh my god Is there more ways I can say oh my god? I like literally did a TikTok version of their dance on my TikTok So like I took their choreography and TikTok fight it is that is that a word so don't forget to check that out that's my way of supporting them shouting them out don't forget to go stream it check it out i'll link it all down below but guys let's get to this q a because you guys sent me a bunch of questions i'm not going to answer all of them i'm going to answer some of them so tammy i trust asked how is getting in touch with the company and then mini okay guys i didn't personally get in touch with cube i actually have a music manager danny at asian agent danny hi, nice hi, to meet you. you which does a bunch of this stuff for me even for my youtube i have a manager because like we don't have time to reach out and work these things out while we're filming but that's really cool how that works because it means that we can concentrate on perfecting our craft and doing what we need to do so Danny made this happen thank you so much Danny you're the best so I'm gonna ask how was filming with a k-pop idol what you all do during the break the sprinkler do you need the sprinkler I think the one difference between filming with a K-pop idol and everyone else is just like how professional they are with what they do. I think the K-pop industry does a really good job on training their people. Like what I noticed with Minnie is like she is so professional, she is so on point. If the director asks her to do anything, like she'll just go and do it. If she has to portray any sort of emotions, like they just know how to do it. I think the amount of training that they go through like really shows up, especially when you're on set and you're seeing them perform. Going from like really down to earth like fun girl to like empire my daddy and I remember like just watching that and going like, wow. Just the change and just the professionalism and how good they are at what they do. I was definitely nervous and I was definitely not as practiced in my expressions and how to shoot a music video. Never really been in the K-pop industry or gone through like K-pop level of quality in a music video. Usually filming with an American director and an American team. It's more about like whatever you want, whatever you're feeling, like go with it. It's more free spirited, but in K-pop they're just like more professional like they want to nail it they want to get it perfect which is kind of what I like because you're spending so much time and money and everyone's coming together and putting so much effort like a video to film why not get it perfect why not demand perfection G Idol Neverland back at us did you feel comfortable during the filming guys I was so nervous and I was a bit of a fangirl so I was like worried I would make a fool of myself and be super weird in front of me so what we did was we filmed the YouTube video together collaboration on one day Snake? What is this? We recorded the actual music and the track at Cube and then it was the music video filming. So we were already pretty comfortable by then. We were like learning the dance together because actually her schedule had been so busy. We had not even done any of the dance together before the filming. So guys, when you saw it turn out, that was like the first time we danced together. She I don't never land back up says, is it everything you imagined and dreamed of? Yes guys, this is everything that I wanted. I'm done. 
I'm, I'm good. Project G Knox says, the best funniest part of working with Minnie. Guys, have you even seen the K-pop game show on my main channel? This paper rock! And we, no one got hurt. I trust says, what was your first impression of Minnie? She was so pretty, so sweet, so nice. I was just like... One Jin's girlfriend asked, how long did it take to shoot? So the actual set of the MV was one hour away from Seoul. What? And then there was like two hours of hair and makeup before that. And then it was a 16 hour shoot. It was literally 24 hours of non-stop working. But guys, it was so fun. One Jin's girlfriend asked, what's the saddest thing during the filming? The saddest thing was when it ended. Uh, Riff, I trust this. How did you prepare yourself for the collaboration? I didn't really know how to prepare for this. No one has a manual on how to prepare to collaborate with a K-pop idol. I was just really nervous. I had a nervous breakdown. I got the Korean lyrics that I had to rap in Korean and sing in Korean three days before I was going to Korea to record the music. It was just... Because my choreographer was in Korea as well, I didn't really have an opportunity to fully practice with the choreographer. So yeah, I mean, it was a lot of non-preparation and just a lot of like, you had to be well trained and prepared before to have things thrown at you. We're going to record my Korean version now. Hello. Going to the studio. Uh, is it number? Number. Number. And part of the skill and professionalism of entertainers is not just the talent. It's the ability to make something look like you've been preparing it for like a month, but literally you've only had one day. You don't have time to prepare. So I'm gonna stop the Q&A there. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I probably just answer some of yours by tweeting you guys back. But guys, I'm really curious what's in the box. Okay, I've been waiting for this moment for literally this whole time. Let's do it. Time to unbox this, guys. Danny, my music manager, told me to open this on camera. Oh, I saw a name of where it's from. Okay, I kind of have a clue what this is. Oh my gosh. He seems so excited about it. He was like, you have to open it. Okay, Danny, I wonder why you're so excited. Why you want me to open it on camera? What, what is this? What is this? Ooh, giant bubble wrap. All right, so getting distracted. Off we go. Nothing broke. Okay, good. We have... Guys, oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Ah! It's upside down. Guys, oh my gosh, guys. This is our billboard plaque. Ah! Oh my god, it's... I never thought I would be holding this in my hand right now. This is insane. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. I I'm gonna I'm gonna open it properly. I'm gonna cry. Okay, don't cry. Guys. I'm trying not to cry right now. This is insane. I don't know whether to scream or to cry. <gasps> I don't know whether to scream or to cry. All right, guys, this is it. This is the billboard. <laughs> Empire debuted 22nd on the world digital song sales on Billboard. And it says, look, Wendy featuring me as piano. Oh my God. My record label is my own independent label. I called it Unicorn Pop, of course. Guys, look, it's a little album. Got our little album cover. Oh my God. And it says, presented to Wenji to commemorate the 22nd position for Wenji Empire on Billboard World Digital Song Sales Chart, the week of November 2nd, 2019. This is insane. Is this real life? Is this really happening? I mean, I was really excited to get my gold button for my channel and then my diamond button. This is something else. Music started as a challenge for me because I knew I could never do it. Or I always thought to myself I could never do it. For this to happen... It's... it's so... It's so crazy. We did it. Thank you, Wenji Corns. Thank you, Neverland. Thank you for the support. I finally can hang this up on the wall to remind myself, if anything is too hard, just believe in yourself and do it. I wanna share that for you guys too. If anything you guys ever think is too hard or that you're not capable of, that is untrue. If I could be sitting here doing this, you guys can do it. If that's the one thing I can give to you guys, that's what I wanna give to you guys. Please. Please chase what please chase your dreams. Please do it for me. God! Oh my god!
Oh, don't forget to check out Oh My God by G Idol. Oh my God! Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Danny. You've definitely surprised me. This is the best Christmas present ever. I remember when that happened, but I would see all these plaques on my friends' walls, like uh, Melanie Fontana Lindgren that wrote and produced Empire with me. They have a lot of these number one billboard plaques on their walls because they've achieved so much in music, but they've been in music their whole life. So I, I feel very blessed and honored to like receive that. Wow. Wow. Chill. Calm down. <laughs> calm down. I can't calm down. I'm so excited. And also follow me on TikTok because I do like dances on there and stuff like that. So I'm so excited to show you my next single very, very soon. May 1st, like two weeks. And I'll see you guys then. Bye guys. Love you. Mwah. Oh my God.